coast of the Gulf. So this storm reminds me of the first big storm threat I worked here in South Florida at CBS4 in 2000. It was August of 2000. It was Hurricane Debbie. This is Fred. That's the way Fred looks. But back in 2000, we were looking at a Category 1 Debbie out here. And this one new model was saying it's going to be a Category 3 or Category 4 by the time it gets here. And everybody was anxious. We didn't know uh, if we were prepared. We were trying to get ready for it. We, we were on edge. But what happened with Debbie? Debbie encountered Hispaniola and some wind shear, and Debbie dissipated unexpectedly. Literally, the National Hurricane Center said it dissipated unexpectedly. Is that going to happen with Fred? It's a possibility. It's a possibility also that Fred survives and ends up back over the water there and has some chance to strengthen slowly as it goes to the northwest. As we've been showing you, models haven't been doing too much in terms of changing north or south just little little wobbles here or there but less land interaction could mean a stronger tropical storm here in south florida more land interaction could mean a tropical depression or a weak tropical storm there headed towards the gulf closer to home